Following up on a previous video about the best textures to use, I will put the link in the description for you. This video gives you a glimpse into how I use digital textures to add rich depth of colour to my images. This is the base photo that I started with and I can honestly look at it now and go, what an average photo. My first layer I did was a levels and I adjusted the mid-tones and just did a little bit of a tweaking there. Now I want to turn it into a textured look. My next layer is where I've used this texture and I'm going to come up to the blend mode and you can see it's already on multiply and opacity at 56%. Let's change it to normal and then put the opacity up. This is one of my own textures that I've created from a sky photo, but it's a good one to use to get some textured look. It's got some vibrancy in with the blue. Let's undo that, get it right back to the blend mode of multiply and the opacity. And this is where you experiment with your blend modes and the opacity because each photo, each texture will be different. I've done a stamp visible layer and on that layer I've added some Gaussian blur. I'll turn that layer off and on. And I've put the Gaussian blur on to soften it because to me that was my vision. I wanted it to be dreamy and soft. My next texture, I'll click onto that layer and I'll turn that layer on. Now when you look at it, it's very subtle, but it's added in a little bit of colour depth. Let's come up and have a look at the blend mode and opacity. It's on soft light, so I'm going to change it to normal and I'm going to put it up to 100%. Now when you look at that and you see that texture, you think, oh, that's a bit strong but it's actually a good one to use to get some colour depth through your image and then you use the blend mode and the opacity to dial that down. Let's get it right back to where it is. The next layer is a stamp visible because at this point I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. So I sat back and I looked and I thought it's got a lot of blue in it there's a little bit of warmth there in the foliage, but it's more of a cyan blue. The next texture that I chose was because I wanted to get some warm colours or tones coming through that colour depth. I'll turn that layer on. Now you can actually see that warm tone coming through. Let's look at the blend mode, soft light, so change it to normal. The opacity was at 54. Let's dial that up. And there's the image again. Quite strong, very dominant. Again, with the blend modes and adjusting the opacity, you can get a different look. This is why I'm using textures to build up colour depth, also that tactile look coming through. Now I'm happy with it, but this is where... I looked at it first and went, oh, well, it's a little bit too blue. I'm going to put a warm coloured texture in. Now I add a photo filter and I'm going to turn that layer on and off. Let's have a look at the photo filter. I'll open up the properties. It's cyan. So I've dialed down the blue, but I've put blue back in. And this allows you to build up that colour depth when you're using a combination of textures. The next layer, I've turned that on, just a stamp visible layer. I've done another levels just to adjust that foreground. I'll turn that layer on and off. Have a look at the foreground right at the bottom of the photo and I've darkened that area and you can see by the mask. I've then done a stamp visible layer I've also used a bit of brushwork of, of colouring. It's one of my stash actions that I've got, and I'll just turn that on. Very subtle in the difference. You can't see, but you'll see on the mask that I've done a little bit of brushwork to tidy up that hard edging of that levels. Let's turn on the next layer. Nothing there. 
Now I've gone into NIC software, a plugin. I'll turn that layer on and it's classical soft focus. I wanted to soften it further and the way that I chose to do that was using the NIC software. Last layer and this is where now I've got my photo ready to build up a composite. All combined with textures and a few adjustment layers. Let's recap the different layers that I used to get to the finished image. I started with a texture. I've done a stamp visible with some Gaussian to soften it. I've added another texture, get some warm tones coming through. Another stamp visible layer. I've added another texture that had warm tones and colours. Now when I look at it, I feel that it's got colour depth, but there's a little bit too much warmth. So I've used a cyan photo filter to get some of that blue coming through. Stamp visible layer, a levels, just to work on that foreground. And the reason that I did that, I felt it distracted the viewer's eye because the eye will always look for the light in a photo or image. So by dulling that down, using a levels, it darkened that and it frames that viewer's eye into the water and the reflections. Stamp visible layer. I've done a little bit of brushwork using one of my actions to tidy up the edging. There's the mask there. Stamp visible layer. Finishing layer was the NYX software using classical soft focus. Mixing and matching digital texture layers with creative adjustments is a secret to adding rich depth and colour, perfect for creating a texture background for your composites. Check out my digital textures in the shop and I'll put the link in the description for you. Thanks for watching.